Hey guys, so I just upgraded my Sony Xperia X Compact to Android 7 Nougat. So I'm going to be doing a video discussing the differences between that and Android 6 Marshmallow on the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact, which I have here on my left hand. Uh, so yeah, if you guys own the X Compact, you did get the update before the uh, Z5 Compact owners. Now Z5 Compact, it is supposed to get the update in the next week. Um, Z5 Premium and Z5 actually got it this week, but unfortunately my region doesn't have it yet. Um, once it does, it will provide an update video, but for now, if you guys are Z5 owners, just know it should be very similar to the X Compact. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful for you too. Alright guys, so let's get started on the differences. So, first difference, if you swipe down once from top of the screen. So you notice here on the uh, Z5 Compact on Marshmallow, not much going on at the top. But then on the X Compact, you have these quick settings at the top. So just for example... Uh, let's say if I want to put it on airplane mode, press that. If I want to put on my uh, flashlight. So it's nice to have those quick settings at the top. Now notifications have also been improved a lot. Uh, you see here, for example, I can reply to this uh, Google message like that. So very handy there. And then if you swipe down twice... So you see here on the X Compact, uh, you have two pages, so swiping to the right. And then also you can edit it right here. And then overall this design has been improved. So a little variations there in the design. Another big difference is with the manual camera. All right, so if you go into the setting here, uh, let me just make this a little bit darker so you guys can see it. Uh, but you can adjust the shutter speed right here. And also the focus. So turn off all the focus there, turn it back on. Now I think the best thing about the um, Android 7 Nougat is the split screen multitasking. Uh, so if you're not familiar with that, you can have up two windows at the same time. So just for example, I'm going to bring up Chrome. I'm going to drag it up here at the top of the screen. And then I'm going to bring up a second app. Going to YouTube. So as you guys can see, you can access both at the same time. You can adjust the window size as well. And then if I want to get out, just drag all the way to the bottom. Now, if I want to uh, very quickly go back to my last app, I can just double tap here. And it brings it right up. So again, none of that was possible on Marshmallow. Now, the messaging app has had some improvements as well. Uh, just for example, you can swipe upwards like this for the camera. And then there's been some improvements in settings as well. So just for example, here you see at the top, it tells me that Do Not Disturb mode is on. Uh, this is another example, let's say if I had up uh, airplane mode. And you see it tells me that as well. So I can just press here to turn off. Now the biggest change is in the battery life. So with this you have more options here to stay in the mode. Let me show you an example. So for here I'm just going to turn it on, on the uh, Android 7. And then you see here at the bottom for the X Compact, uh, new feature here, advanced settings, stamina level. So again, this is new to Android 7. Uh, but clicking on it, so you have three different options for um, how, how much you want the stamina level to be. So for example, if you care more about the battery time, then you click this. And this tells you some of the features there. Um, if you just want to balance, click the default. And then if you care more about having more performance, but you still want the stamina level, or you still want stamina to be on, and then you see there at the bottom, so it just tells you what's still restricted. And then also on Android 7, you have those, which is supposed to help the battery life as well. Uh, and one last thing, so if you swipe to the right, so from the left to the right, you bring up Google Now. So yeah, guys, a lot of good new features on Android 7 Nougat. Um, I will be doing a lot of comparisons in terms of speed. Uh, so covering everything there, uh, app opening, game opening, web browsing. Uh, Going to be checking out the camera speed and a lot more. Um, but yeah, so far my initial impressions of Android 7 Nougat on the X Compact are pretty positive. 
Uh, I haven't noticed really any issues with it. Very smooth. Uh, so yeah guys, it's going to be working on an iPhone SE comparison video tonight that is currently on iOS 10.2. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to that. Please subscribe for more and thanks for watching.